Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Soldier 1 video, and today we are back in x -Plane. Today, we're gonna talk about the Boeing 757, and no, just kidding, this is actually the Tupolev 204, which pretty much looks like a 757, or kind of like a mix out of the 757 and the A320, or the A321. Now, this plane was made by the manufacturer of Tupolev, which is a Russian aircraft manufacturer. And yeah, today let's talk about this plane, maybe compared to the 757, because these planes are kind of similar, I would say. Say. Oh. Now we have normal landing gear here, but oh no. <laughs> yeah, the, the nose landing gear is actually bugged. Can you see that? How do you mess that up as a developer? Jesus Christ. Now this plane had its first flight in 1989, which was 30 years ago, and it was introduced in 1996 seven years later with the airline Aeroflot, which is the Russian standard airline. Even though this plane came out 30 years ago, nearly, this plane is still in production, which is normally a pretty good sign for a good airliner, I would say. But is it though? Let's find out. Now, this is the cockpit. As you can see right here, this is quite a modern plane. I mean, we have thick screens here and no manual gauges nearly. Okay, we have some spare gauges, but you know. Yeah, this looks like a typical modern Russian plane or general generally eastern plane because they all have that green tint that I'm always talking about. Why are all eastern cockpits green? It's so weird. Now as you can see right here, actually there has to be a third person in the cockpit which is controlling something, whatever. Let's get into the cabin, I guess. We cannot open the doors, so we're kind of locked in here. This plane only has a business class, which is fine. I mean, this is not a big plane. This is only a bit bigger than the A321. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to ask, is this plane a commercial success? And the answer to that is, mm hmm, yeah, no, no, not real. Only 86 of these were built. But let's just take off first, because there is another feature of the landing gear that I just wanted to show you. Oh, that was a tail strike. As you can see right here, the landing gear is tilted as well, which is a feature that I always greet since uh, it allows you to make butter, butter landings. Also, we have a yoke that uh, reminds me of the Concorde yoke, or as I call it, joke. Now, I cannot say whether this plane is really a fake 757 or not, but what I can say is that it looks like a 757, and it came out after the 757, so maybe there is something to it, uh, who knows? Yeah, the nose gear is completely fricked, look at, look at that, it's, it's sticking out, you know, why not? Now, what I haven't noticed before is that the cockpit is actually Russian, oh no. Now, obviously, there are no Western Airlines and no mainstream airlines flying with this thing. One of the major carriers of this plane is actually Air Corio, which uh, is the good old North Korean airline. Obviously, that one should not use the bad Western planes. Also, Kubana, which is a Cuban airline, uses this plane a lot. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I generally cannot say this is a bad plane. This looks like a solid plane to me, doesn't it? Now, maybe let's talk about the differences between the 757 and this plane. But let's take off first. Now this plane it has a slightly lower range than the 757, and it is slightly lighter. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that didn't work out. Now you might expect this plane to be, you know, maybe a little bit less fuel efficient, but in fact, this plane is pretty much as fuel efficient as the 757. And generally, the performance of this plane is not bad. Like generally, this plane is not bad. It is very solid, actually. Now let's um kind of try to take off. No, I can already see this is not a good idea. Yeah, the thing is, we don't even have nose gear, so this is kind of weird. Oh, all right. So maybe this plane would have been a very good competition against the 757 if it, you know, wasn't Russian. And generally, the maintenance of Tupolev planes or generally Russian planes is very expensive and um, kind of complicated sometimes. That was quite good. Are you sure about that? Now, maybe some people might concern the safety of this plane, but there have only been a few crashes so far of this. Almost none of them were fatal, so... But keep in mind that in real life, the plane does have nose landing gear. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that might have not worked out. And honestly, if I had an airline and I would have to choose between the 757 and this plane, I would obviously choose the 757. Even though, again, I do kind of like this plane. Yeah, Tupolev have cockpits are kind of weird sometimes. What does this do? Now, let's butter for once to end this video. 
That was quite off center line, but that was fine. Yeah, that was acceptable. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.